Techno Buffalo's E3 coverage is presented to you by State Farm, helping you get to a better state. What's up, everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. We are at E3 2013 in the Sony booth, taking a look at one of the main attractions here at the show. It is right down here. Here is the PlayStation 4 in all its glory. So I'm going to show you what the console looks like. I'll show you the controller take a little bit of a look at some gameplay as well. So here we've got the console, kind of looks like a three ring binder to me up close. It's got dual layers slanted at a bit of an angle. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the outgoing slim last generation PS3, but it is much better looking in person uh, than at least it looked online. Um, so let's take a look at the new DualShock controller. There is a lot of things that are different here. First I'll say the controller feels yeah. so much more ergonomic in the hand. Uh, the R2 button has a nice clear angle to it, makes the controller fit much more nicely. Uh, there's a decent amount of weight to it as well uh, on each side. So different here, the main difference, you now have a touchpad here down below, uh, which we haven't been able to test that out yet in games, but you can see how it works. And as you go ahead and move your fingers around, it's actually at a very natural place. Also, if you can click it so you can get to use a button, you can use that as well for touching. We've got a blue right light there right now that the console is going to use uh, with the PlayStation Eye kind of format so it can track the control and the motion of where you are in a six axis format. Uh, I will say though that the analog six and the button throw really feel solid. Of course, you got the new PlayStation and uh, the share buttons there as well. Uh, the controller feels really nice in the hand. Um, I usually did most of my gaming on the Xbox 360 because I like the way the controller felt versus the last generation DualShock. I'll say this feels really, really good. Uh, as good as the Xbox 360 controller feels. So if you were debating what console is gonna be right for you, this one might be a great way to go, especially at $100 less than the Xbox 360. So let's take a look at some gameplay here as well. Um, so this is the PS4 and we are looking at one of the most exciting games that's gonna be coming to the PlayStation 4, Pinball Arcade. I have never seen pinball look this real. All right, it's a pinball game. Clearly not the best representation of graphics, uh, but it is what Sony is showing here. It looks beautiful, it looks nice. Uh, it's a pinball game. You know, if you want to play pinball, you're better off going to a real life arcade if you can still find one, you know, as opposed to doing it here. Uh, but you can see what the gameplay looks like. It's very pretty, um, looks gorgeous. Obviously, probably one tenth of one percent of what the PS4 is actually capable of. But overall, I've been really impressed with uh, the controller how the console looks, and hopefully you'll be impressed with the graphics and the launch lineup it looks really good. So hope you guys enjoyed this very first look at the PS4. I'm John Renger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate it. See you next video. I want to thank our friends at State Farm for powering our E3 coverage. Having insurance isn't the same as having State Farm. They help you on your schedule, offering 24-7 access to an agent on your schedule, not theirs. Let them help you get to a better state.